Salman Rushdie's ex-wife Padma Lakshmi said Sunday that the author is pulling through after being stabbed multiple times Friday. Relieved at Salman Rushdie is pulling through after Friday's nightmare. Worried and wordless, can finally exhale. Now hoping for swift healing, Lakshmi, the host of Bravo's Top Chef, wrote on Twitter. Rushdie was off a ventilator and in good spirits Saturday, a day after being stabbed as he went to give a lecture in upstate Chautauqua, his agent confirmed. The harrowing and shocking attack left Rushdie in serious condition, according to his agent Andrew Wiley, who said the Satanic Verses author will likely to lose an eye. The author also suffered a damaged liver and severed nerves in his arm, the agent said. Alleged attacker Hadi Matar, 24, pleaded not guilty to attempted murder and assault charges for the public attack at a non-profit education and retreat center. Prosecutor said Matar had pre-planned the stabbing, getting an advance pass to Rushdie's lecture with a fake ID. Matar of Fairview, New Jersey, harbored sympathies toward Iran, law enforcement sources told The Post. In 1989, the hardline leader of Iran, the Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini, issued a fatwa, or religious edict, calling for the British Indian writer's death after the publication of his novel, The Satanic Verses. Khomeini died later that year, but Rushdie remained in hiding for about the next decade, till Iran's government denounced the death sentence. Still, the fatwa was never rescinded. Lakshmi and Rushdie began living together in 1999 and were married from 2004 to 2007.